welcome to another episode of the collector's review in this episode we're going to be getting to the toonie terrors texas chainsaw massacre leatherface neca action figure this one came out not too long ago it came out with a few other ones in the series uh, right now they're on series i want to say three or four i want to say four i think so um right now i'm i unboxed the freddy cougar action figure already so if you didn't check that out make sure you check that video out i'm getting to this bad boy right here and i'm also going to be doing the jason the michael the pinhead and the two pennywise action figures this box right here before i get to it you know the collection to mention brings you everything from comic books action figures statue unboxing anything that has to do with collectibles so make sure you hit that little red subscribe button at the bottom here goes what he looks like in the package this one was kind of off right here that i seen i don't know if you guys are a big fan of these like i said in the other one just shoot down in the comments if you guys are this is the back of it right here so it's for him to stand in front of they made it with little dioramas that you can cut out me personally not a big fan of the uh the backgrounds that they've had the freddy cougar background i really didn't like much not not a big fan of it i thought they could have done a little bit better but hey they are adding a little something to it and it says bring the fun of saturday morning cartoons to your horror collection with these adorable little creeps pick your favorite or collect them all and make everyday toony terror time and the reason i'm opening this one unboxing this bad boy right here is because i bought all the scooby-doo action figures and i'm gonna be making a diorama let's take a look at him real quick close up Ah, let me get this box out the way for you. Leatherface, looking like he about to go some rounds with somebody and knock him out. So I not wasn't a real big fan of these. Still not a big fan of these. Um, <clears throat> I I just I don't like that they don't have the articulation and everything like that. But I'm gonna be making the diorama like I said for him. So that's not bad. Let me take it off the stand real quick for you guys and take you up close so here how he looks up close and I didn't like how the wrist the wrist they didn't do that great of a job on let me just pan this over so you guys can see let me get in zoom in they ain't do a good paint job on the wrist at all so I might be repainting that I'm gonna grunge them up and then I'm gonna be adding them to the diorama so his legs don't move and then let's turn him around real quick. His legs don't move at all. And the only thing that moves is his arms and his head. So his head moves too. And bring him in real close. So his head looks good. Look, no up and down. So, well, up, down. So you see that little movement. But he does move side to side. And the arms move. So this runs dry, goes all the way around. This one too and by his elbow so that's all you got with this one and he comes with the chainsaw of course let's get this chainsaw in his hand i don't know which one it goes in it looks like it fits in a, any one and let me try getting it in his hand because it looks like it's going to be a little bit difficult so give me a second here we go got it in there it wasn't too hard as i thought let me just pan this light over so you guys can see him. Sits in his hand very well. And it goes in both hands. So that's what's nice. All around. Can't wait to do the diorama with him. Maybe make a... I was planning on maybe making the Scooby-Doo one. And then making one for each of them. Just a little simple diorama. And I'm going to bloody this guy up right here. And same thing with the other ones. Why? Because it's a horror action figure. So until next time, this was another episode of the Collector's Review. Just trying to show you guys a little bit of what I got while we go through this little quarantine and give you guys as many videos as I can. So that's why I brought you along to open up these. And I'm going to be doing the other ones. So make sure you guys keep a lookout. Tell me what you guys feel about them. Until next time, we're out. Peace.